Okay. I think tonight's um, topic subject scared away a lot of people. I think that uh, they were like, oh, yeah, no, not going to get on tonight because of the fear of going live and the fear of Melissa potentially calling on me and telling me to do a product demo. Well, yeah, Cassie, you're, you're nodding. I think we scared some people off. What if we just flipped the script and totally didn't do anything regarding <laughs> or related to live? Flip the script and we had a party and everybody that's on tonight wins a prize. Roll fun? with it. That Do fun? what works, right? Um, okay, so welcome. Thank you so much for getting on. It's really, I mean this truly, honestly, from the bottom of my heart and Andrea will vouch for me that I've had a crazy day. Seeing your faces is a breath of fresh air amongst all of my craziness today. Today was, today was one of those days. Um, and so uh, it was one of the ones where you literally feel like dodgeball and you are like just ducking and then you're just catching the ball that has to be dealt with next. That's how my day was. So seeing your faces is uh, refreshing and it's kind of a resuming to my, new, my normal. So thank you. Um, okay. Yes, we're going to talk about demos and going live and the fear of going live and the success that you guys have that have gone live and done some virtual parties are, are seeing. So we will talk about that. Um, but I want to talk about a couple things first. Next Tuesday will be September 1st. So, and September 1st is a very big day. Everybody's nodding. Is everybody already having a little bit of anxiety over September 1st? Yeah. Cassie, what's giving you the most anxiety about September 1st? Well, September 1st, because I work from home too, outside of Sensi, not only will I have to set my alarm for 2.45 a.m. so I can be up and ready for launch, then I'll go back to bed for maybe an hour and a half before my real work alarm goes off and I go downstairs and work at 7.30. So, and um, what is... What is it that you will be getting up for? Um, Pre-orders for uh, Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff so far. Okay. So I have two I just, customers that want some stuff direct shipped. So, And I, did, we, did we see, is it 3 a.m. still? That's when like letterboard warmer went I know. live at 3 a.m. So I would There's assume. There's going to be a news article posted tomorrow, I read. Oh, there you are. Why are you in the dark in a shadow? I don't know. It's weird, right? Yes, because it looked, you're still, I didn't even realize it was you. I was looking for you to see if you could chime in. I thought maybe you'd have our answer. Should I change my voice so that look it at, sounds like I'm part guys, of it? Doesn't it look like, like she's like the, the secret <laughs> guest on Hollywood Squares and they haven't lit her square up yet? Yeah. <laughs> Honest to goodness, Nicole. Seems like it should all quit three if the warmer of the month does. That, well, I know, but with September 1st being, I don't know if it's going to, we need to find that out, but I don't know that they've even, I know they put three, there we go, that's better. They had said 3 a.m., then they pulled that, and then I don't know, we, we had this discussion earlier today, and we were trying to decide or determine, Nicole, Andrea, Mary Jane, you guys didn't see anything else that said anything different. Nope. You? I just saw that there's going to be a news article tomorrow afternoon. Perfect. Okay. So watch for that. Um, so with September 1st being next Tuesday, what we'll do is we're going to have a Tuesday fun social night. So it's just going to be grab your favorite beverage. Doesn't matter what it is. Alcoholic, non-alcoholic, whatever your choice is. And we are going to get on Zoom next September 1st and we'll celebrate successes from the, from August and we will celebrate the, if any of us still have hair on our heads uh, after September 1st, after that day. Um, so next Tuesday will be a fun, a fun night and you never know what we'll talk about, what tip, trick, hint, hack that you will pick up or uh, what prizes might be given away, you just never know. And so, uh, but that's what's coming for next week. So next week will be a fun night. Um, we have five Tuesdays in September, and if you've checked the Zoom calendar, September is um, 
social media. So it is running your business, social media, online marketing, and selling with Amy. So we're going to have really good social media stuff coming next month. We will also, I'm going to hope and pray and try to get Jill McCarthy to come on and do a, um, a Zoom training for us on our Tuesday night. She is a social media guru. She's a superstar director with Sensi, but she is also trained um, in social media. And so I'm going to see if I can get her to guest speak for us one of the Tuesdays. So social media is going to be our focus next month social media and social platforms and Amy and um, running your business using those, uh, those tools. So that's our focus. But since we have five, September, five Tuesdays in September, the very first one will be a team party. And so we'll come on here and, and have fun. Um, and then the rest of the four Tuesdays will be centered around social media. Okay, something else I wanted to talk about really quickly is you're going to see some things floating around on Facebook and social media about compliance centered around bingo, raffles, pay to play games, when you can give away um, random or when you can do drawings, when you can, um, uh, how you can pick mystery hostesses. You probably have seen, if maybe you've seen something floating around Facebook already about what's in compliance, what's not in compliance. I'm going to say at this point, hang tight. You don't need to change anything that you're doing right now. Um, we had a training call, directors and above had a training call yesterday with Sensi Home Office, and it got very confusing around these topics. And so um, we're waiting for some further clarification. However, some directors did take that information and put it out there. And I think that's some of the things that you're seeing. Not that what they're putting out there is wrong, but I want official communication. I don't want something you're just seeing posted on Facebook with regards to bingo, pay to play, mystery hostesses. Okay. So when we get information about compliance for those items or events, um, we will share it with you and we will make sure that you guys know what is allowed and what's not allowed. And this is coming down from the FTC, not coming down just from Sensi. So, um, but hang tight on what you see. You're more than welcome to send uh, anything that you do find. And Robin sent me something tonight that she saw that was posted asking for some clarification. You're welcome to send me or send my way um, or to Andrea anything that you do find and we'll get clarification. We're going to get clarification on this uh, compliance stuff. So don't panic too much about what's in compliance or out of compliance just yet. We will get clarification and know that um, we leaders are working with home office to get that clarified. Okay, tell me, because of your Sensi business, what are things that you have learned or skills you've acquired that don't necessarily relate to Sensi. Are you going to record, Melissa? You're going to record. What's that? Are you going to record? Record what? This call? Yeah. It's recording. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear that. That's part. okay. That's okay. I thought you knew something I didn't know. Um. Okay, Wendy. What is something that you have learned? or a skill that you've acquired that because of Sensi, but is not directly tied to Sensi? How to make a Google Doc. How to make a Google Doc. Add it, add it to the Facebook party. Hold on, I wanna make this. Okay, next, you guys can just unmute. Just tell me things that you've learned because of being a Sensi consultant that aren't necessarily related to Sensi. How to schedule Facebook posts. Okay. How to go live on Facebook. Okay. Using PicMonkey. You can keep just throwing them at me. My computer skills have much better. Computer skills, okay. Speaking in front of groups of people. Speaking, yes. How do you? How to link social. 
Go ahead. Go ahead, whoever was talking, so I cut them off. How to link social media accounts. How to link. Okay. How to use Canva. Yeah. Yeah. How to communicate with others. Communication. Using video apps for marketing my product. How to, How to use Amy. Amy to follow up. Leadership skills. Leadership skills, yes. Okay. Time management. Mm -hmm. Okay. How to work with people of all sorts of natures, whether or not customers or other consultants that you're trying to figure out things through. Where are you that it is daytime? So I'm in Seattle and I'm currently on our boat. I'm Jenna. And on Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> that is oh, all fitting. the time. Nicole will tell you, I've, I've reached out to her many times, been like, well, my kids are swimming, but I'm sitting here working, like sunburning half the side of my face. That is awesome. Be that be right there be should be something. Some, the fact you this get to work. Asking. <laughs> no kidding. That's a benefit of fencing, not something that you learn. That's just the benefit. Yes, it is a benefit. Okay, time management is the last thing I got. Zoom. Learning Zoom. Inventory Funny management. How, Funny how Zoom was just kind of a buzzword among all of us Sensi consultants until COVID. And then all of a sudden, everybody's like, oh, Zoom, Zoom. We're like, we've been Zooming for years. Go ahead, Julie. What did you say? Inventory management. Okay. Think about other, other specific things in your daily life. Like I think about um, some of my big ones are um, using pirate ship to send things out. PirateShip.com, if anybody uses, if anybody mails anything, you should send it through, if it's not just a first class envelope, okay, not just a, not just a first class envelope, because that's not going to save you money, but if I wanted to send this box, or I wanted to send this sample pack in a bubble mailer, I use PirateShip.com, and they have rates up to about 40% off USPS retail rates. Melissa, I just sent out a box with four Sensi buddies in it, inside of their boxes. And I just sent it out today. Pirate ship, it was $62 for the box. But at UP or USPS, I had them weigh it and measure it when I was there. And it was 79. So it was automatically where were you sending this to that it was $62? That's what I From the know. West Coast to the East Coast. Yeah, it was a wow. really big box. It had, because they wanted the um, boxes with the Sensi Buddies. I couldn't just break it down. Did you have bricks in there too, though? Mm -mm. Jeez. Nope. Why didn't you yeah. just flatten the boxes? Flatten and the boxes and ship That's what I would have done. They she paid didn't want for shipping. Too. Yeah, they paid for shipping, so they didn't want it to be, but it saved me automatically like 13 or $14 just for I'm using doing pirate ship. Pirate ship. Yeah. Yep. It was pretty Also, good. their customer service, they talk to you like a pirate. It's kind of fun. That's awesome. I just sent a warmer, the pumpkin warmer, the glass pumpkin warmer to Ohio when it was only $8. Yep. Yeah. And I'll tell you, um, Lisa Becker sent out this size envelope with some wax samples in it and a product sheet and a couple other items. And she wanted it to go in a first class envelope and she took it to the post office and they charged her $4 and 60 cents a piece. I mailed out these in a nine by six bubble mailer and I paid 321 and I used pirate ship and she went to USPS. So just letting you know, pirate ship is one of the greatest things in the entire world. It's, I was intimidated by it at first but it is super simple and I now have a little postage scale that sits on my desk and I weigh everything and I send it out. The label prints right on my printer 
and I slap it on my package and I put it in my mailbox with the flag up. So anyhow, I didn't mean to get off on that tangent, but I even use my food scale. You can. Yeah. Pirate ship is something I learned that I never would have known about without a Scentsy business. Also, learning photo apps. I know a couple of you said Monkey and Canva, but so many of my non sensey friends will reach out to me and say, how do you put words on pictures? How do you do that? And I'm thinking, this is like the elementary fundamental thing we do in our business is swag up pictures and put words on them. Um, Okay, so any other things that you've learned because of Scentsy, but not necessarily tied to Scentsy? How to look at things with a different attitude. Ooh. Because I, when, when, you're, when your business makes you think about, is this the right way to do this, the nice way to do this, you know, will this build the relationship? And a lot of times if I'm not, before Sensi, I wasn't necessarily thinking of things exactly that way. Love that. Huh? Kind of puts you in check too. I know I've had a couple discussions this past week with consultants based on what they post on social media. And it kind of puts your posting in check as well because you have to be careful, especially in this political climate, this the societal climate, the COVID climate. I mean, we are in a really, really sensitive time. Um, and so you do have to watch most everything that you post. But um, the reminder that you're in business and you represent yourself and you represent your business and you represent Sensi and you are trying to relationship build, not relationship bash. And so it's important to know, I mean, there are some topics better left off of social media. It's just better that people try to assume what side of a line you're on. It doesn't matter if we're talking about religion, politics, whether you like or not, don't like pizza. It doesn't matter. It's probably best to just keep it light and airy so that people aren't offended, people aren't sabotaging you, and not, they're not feeling like you're sabotaging them. So th what, that has been a very big lesson I think many Sensi consultants experience that at one time or another in their business where you kind of realize or second guess what you might post now that you have this business that you use social media a lot for. So that's a good one. Relationship building and positivity and attitude. I love that. Yes. Anything else? Okay. I won't, I won't make us do this any longer, but I'm going to compile this list and I'm going to post it because I think it's really fun to share the things that we have acquired because we're business owners, but not necessarily because of Sensi or how Sensi has brought us together and things that it's taught us and skills that it's taught us. It's really cool. So, okay. Who still has a fear of going live? Come on. Me. Admit it. Admit it. Oh, I am for sure. Hold your hands up. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna call on you. I just. It's okay, Rachel. You can what put your, your question. Hand up. Fear of going live. Look at Andrea has her hand up. I want you to see. Andrea has been with Cincy longer than I have. It doesn't mean that. I mean, things do get easier, right, Andrea? They do get easier, but we have to be pushed in the best. The best kind of push is one you get from your supportive peers. That is the best. And so that is why, because of all of those hands, that's why we're still talking about this. Because if you are con continuing to be intimidated by going live or doing these demos, you are going to be hesitant to do virtual parties. And I'm that is the way we are going. And I heard Wendy say at the beginning of this call, she went out of her comfort zone and now she has three booked. So we need to get good at not caring about sharing. Not caring about sharing. Mary Jane, tell us about an element warmer. 
real quick. Uh, an element warmer really is um, one of the Scentsy products. I happen to have one right here. This is one of my favorite ones. It's called Parafix. When people don't want to have a light on and you want to just have that smell that you want to put in your bedroom, but you don't want the light on, this is perfect. There, the, the holes there, the wax melts, comes out. It's an element, no light bulb. I don't know if you could see this, but that's the element warmer there. Plug it in, turn it on. You don't even know it's on, except there's a little button right here. You put your one, two, three cubes of wax in there. Put this on, go to sleep. If you forget to turn it off, no big deal. Leave it on 24 seven. That's it. That's an element warmer, no lights. Thank you, Mary Jane. What else would you tell her to include about an element warmer if that was her demo video? What else would you say? Doesn't an element warmer use about like 20 watts of power to melt the wax or something like that? Like yes, I don't even know that. Oh, I think I thought I heard that once like because people want to know like with our different <laughs> watt light bulbs, like how much wattage they're using. Yeah, it's somewhere oh. around there. I was going to say point out the wattage that it's an even lower wattage than uh, and most of our warmers and that there's okay, well no then, light so that it I would just really would, talk if there being no light so that if they really want to put it in like um, a, bedroom. Like a, a bedroom and they don't like light that it would be great for a bedroom. Yep. Janie, what were you going to say? Uh, it costs $6 a year to, if you left your um, Sensi warmer on 24 seven six dollars on your electric bill for a year is that an element of 25 watt which All right i don't know it's either 20 15 20 or 25 i don't know not the element okay any other tips on elements that you would include perhaps letting them know that the element works best when the dish is on top of it and it's not flipped upside down because apparently and people don't realize that and and the pear warmer isn't a good example of that because it doesn't have a dish. But how many of that itsy bitsy spider did you see sitting with the dish underneath its body? Common sense is no longer common. Uh, the element warmer that um, show like she did the bottom of it and say this is the bottom. The other ones, because I've had them where they flipped them upside down and it was like, how come it's not working? Yeah, it's, oh, sorry, hold on. I was looking at the chat. Mm, okay. Unless that's what you were replying to is what I just said too and I repeated it. Nope, that's okay, that's okay. All right, uh, thank you, Janie. Rand. Andrea, will you talk about Scentsy Bars for me? Sure. I just have to no. have one here because I'm doing, <clears throat> I'm doing this all day. Pretend you just hit the live button and we are tuning in via Facebook to your live. Okay. I can do that. So I'm going to tell you about our Scentsy Bars. So we have over 80 plus different scents to choose from. Um, each one is put into a category and we have, or a family, we have seven families to choose from. Um, fruity, citrus, floral, fresh, woods, spice, and bakery. Um, each one is, so it's basically your scents are kind of put into those categories depending on the notes that are in your, notes that are in your scent. Um, each bar has eight cubes. Each cube, is about eight to 10 hours of on time. Um, that means that's, that's how long your scent is going to last. Um, that doesn't mean if you put two cubes in there, it's not gonna be double the time. It just means that your scent is going to be stronger. So if you want a stronger scent, you put more cubes in. Um, <laughs> so uh, let's see, your scent is gonna go into the air. The wax is not going to go anywhere. So once you find out that your scent is no longer in the room, um, that is when you're going to want to change your wax. You're not going to want to add your bars to the wax. You want to make sure and take the wax out before you, before you put a new cube in. Um, did you know that you can actually get 
uh, used to a scent, especially if you are using the same scent. Um, if you are walking into your room and you think, oh, I don't smell the scent, but other people are coming and going, oh, your house smells really good. Generally what has happened is that your nose has probably gotten used to that. And the best way of being able to tell if that scent is gone is going up to your warmer, putting your nose very close to it and smelling. If the scent is still there, then you know that you are probably, you have probably gotten used to the scent. Um, and so that's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a very good indication that that's what's going on. Um, if that is not the case, then that's when you know that you'll want to change your scent. So, um, yeah, if there, that's basically all there is to know about your bars. So if you have any other questions, let me know. Yay. Great job, Andrea. <laughs> any, anything you would add about our wax? Made in Idaho. Made in Idaho. Non-toxic. 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 Can you tell them how much they are, how much they are and five, five, get one free. Perfect. You can put your finger in it. It won't burn you. It's a low temperature melting wax. So part of your demo with wax could be actually showing people that you dip your finger in it. Yeah, that's a great idea. How to it's super easy to clean up with um, cotton. How to remove the wax with the cotton? Yes. Who else? And you can reuse it. Reuse the wax, like you can pour it back into your dish or your clamshell. The carton, yeah, the clamshell. Yep. If there was still fragrance left in it. What else? You can mix them. Mix you can mix them. Good one. Sure can. Make your create your own favorite signature fragrance by mixing them. Absolutely. And remember, things that come easy to us that we think are no-brainers do not be, they're not no-brainers to customers or to people that are just, you know, that are uh, just getting started using Scentsy. I've had customers ask me, can I mix the scents? Well, of course you can. There's no, you absolutely could. But to us, that's a no-brainer to them. They're like, oh, I never thought of doing that. So yeah, saying that you can mix them. Okay. Who's going live with whatever product you have next to you? Five, four, three, two, one. Who's doing it? I'll call on somebody. I have a new fan diffuser. Show me. You just went live. <laughs> we both have. That's fine. Do, you both are going to do it. You both are going to okay. do it. Okay, Lisa, go first. You've got one minute. Go. So this is a mini fan diffuser. This was new to our product line last fall. This is the newest way to use our Scentsy Fragrance Pods. Works really great in a small personal space connected to maybe like your laptop in your home office or in your car. It comes with a USB cable. That's how it powers it. It's got a small fan inside of it that blows the fragrance from the fragrance pods, which come two to a pack. You place the fragrance pod on top of the mini fan diffuser like this. You plug it into the USB. The USB goes into your laptop, goes into any USB port, and bam, you've got fragrance in your face, and it's amazing. Um, these uh, fragrance pods, like I said, come two to a pack, $10. You can also buy them in packs of three. Buy five, get one free. Um, and the scents last about, I think it's 10, to, uh, 30 hours, 60 hours, somewhere in that neighborhood. But um, you can also, um, you can also mix uh, fragrance, new fragrances. I don't know if anybody else knows this, but you can pop these bad boys open and you can put the scent beads from scent packs in here. If you run out and you don't have any more on hand, just pop some scent, some scent beads from your scent pack in there, and then you've got a new fragrance for your fragrance pod. So that's the mini fan diffuser. <laughs> Which is a really good tip for consultants, but not your customers, because you want them to buy more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We're, We're in a safe place. Hey. We're in a safe place here. 
we we love consultant hacks too. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yeah. Okay, so how we can mix the cubes? Can you mix the pods? Like absolutely. Has anyone really got that question? Kind of on these, but not really because it's a little hard to stack them. But definitely in the wall fan diffusers or yeah. in your Sensi Go, you can do two yes. different things. Oh. I have someone who always does vanilla bean and baked apple pie, and they say oh. it's the best thing ever. Yeah, it's awesome. I okay. do just breathe and jammy time for my kids' room. It's awesome. Yeah, see, everybody has their little. All right, what else would you say about the mini fan? This is what it, when it's always plugged in, it's always on. And okay. it, com it comes in three colors, the blush, the mint, the gray. And the pods come in 33, currently 33 cents. What? I was just studying because I'm going live tomorrow morning because Love I took it. a picture of this for my virtual. And I said, fun, um, something fun. Does anybody know what this, uh, this Sensi product is? I was trying to get interaction awesome. in the group. So, but um, also a tip is to help keep your pod on there. Somebody I had learned on one of our Zooms that you put a rubber band around them. Yeah. And it's perfect for traveling, perfect for dorm where somebody, um, they can't have wax or um, they don't have very many outlets. Perfect for a college student. Um, I'm trying to get college students that maybe want to have a side hustle, and these are perfect. Yep. Those are very good for scenting personal space. Great job. The, the actual time on the pods is 120 hours continuously, but I always tell my people that um, depending on the scent that you choose and how much you're using your fan um, will determine how long you'll you'll smell that scent Thank and you, you know i've really tried to get away from telling anybody how long any product lasts because it they will hold you to it and it's every product is different every fragrance is different the use is different where a warmer is located is different you know if you've got a it, there are so many factors that play into fragrance that I've really gotten away from telling anybody how long something lasts. Me too. I think the biggest thing is the only reason I bring, if it, I don't do that in my normal spiel, I only bring it up when someone asks because when, sure, uh, sure. because that's, that's one of the things like, I don't even know what I would say if someone, well, how long does the wax last? And I'd be like, well, you have to take into consideration. Is it a big room, small room, blah, 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 and do that. But well, I always use the example. I will say to them, even when somebody asks me how long something lasts, I will say, depends on the fragrance, depends where you put it. And that goes for every single one of our products because think about it. A scent pack under your car seat doesn't last near as long as a scent pack in a Scentsy Buddy. A scent circle hanging from a rear view mirror doesn't last near as long as hanging in a linen closet. So I say, and I give those examples and I say, Depends with, I mean, if I went into a dissertation about it, I would say wax and warmers depends where your depends where your warmer is, depends how long you have it on, depends on what fragrance you're using. If it is a scent pack, depends where you put it, depends what fragrance it is. There are so many factors that play into fragrance. I try to get away to these hard, get away from these hard, because like Andrea said, we technically say that our wax cubes last eight to ten hours. I wholeheartedly disagree with that. And this has been a debate for the last two weeks I've been having with other consultants that have been in Sensi a really long time because when I started, I always told people they last 20 to 25 hours per cube. Always. And I still firmly believe that because I don't ever turn my warmers off and I don't have to change my wax every single day. And I still can smell it. And so I firmly believe that our wax lasts longer than what we even say that it does. So I don't want to give anybody a hard time, time, a hard time that it's going to be done. Debbie. So I went on vacation a couple of weeks ago. We left on a Monday at 7 a.m. I put two cube, two warmers, I had one cube in each warmer. We came home Thursday night and they both still smiled. Yep. So. You just can't, that's why, get away from trying to 
to even if somebody's i mean a fragrance flower is pretty pretty set at 60 days it'll last about 60 days but i still will even say it depends where you put it is it a high traffic area is there is there a, or doors opening and closing is it near i mean there are so many factors that come into play um here's something here's a tip that i want to give everybody when you're doing a demo when you are going live be excited and i know that we're just on zoom and we are just like this is just you know we're just practicing we're just whatever but how you do anything is how you do everything and i want excitement and you in order to sell your product you gotta love your product you have to pick this up and this can't be foreign even if it's foreign to you and you're like I, I don't know that I could do a demo about a room spray. I don't feel own it because nobody is a bigger expert than you. Your people that are watching are not near the expert. They think you are the fragrance expert. They don't know how much you know or don't know. And realistically, there's not that much to know. And I think a lot of times we are completely, we are our biggest hurdles and roadblocks because we're intimidated that we're gonna forget. I think Tina said in the chat earlier, I'm afraid I'm gonna goof up. Who cares? You know what? Who cares? Because if you goof, we are so human. That's part of what people end up loving. When they, don't know. they don't know what they're missing. They have no idea. They don't know. And if you goof up and you're like, did I really just say that? I didn't mean to say that. But, but who cares? And if I got on and said, okay, you guys, I want to tell you about the Scentsy Room Spray and why it is one of my most favorite products in the catalog. And I feel like it's kind of forgotten about. We get really excited about our wax and warmers, but the room spray is amazing because I can carry it with me everywhere. I can leave it in my car. I spray my floor mats every time I get in my vehicle. I spray two sprays on my driver's side, two sprays on my passenger side. And when I open up the back doors, I spray the, the behind the passenger seat, behind the driver's seat. This is my favorite tool in scenting my car. And I carry it with me because it's not just a bathroom spray. Everybody thinks that a room spray is just to freshen up the bathroom. It has so many more uses. You could spray, Janie, you're interrupting my live. Oh, I forgot kidding. you're doing a live. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go ahead. You know I spray it on my shower curtain. It's shower a cloth curtain. shower curtain. So when the wind up, wind's blowing, it, it's just great. <laughs> yep. How about putting set packs in your dry, in your, your vents? Dangle them in your vent, in your room. So you know how you have a floor vent where the air conditioning and the heat blows out? I've seen people dangle them in the vent and close it. And then when the air blows through, there are so many different uses for our products. You can but, spray your furnace filter before you put it in your furnace. Too. Spray your furnace filter with the room spray. Yes. When you give other uses for our products to our customers, they get equally as excited about our product as you do. When we tell people that CounterClean isn't just for counters, but it's also for white shoe soles or your warmer dish or your stainless steel appliances or a spill on the foot, wherever, you're giving people more reasons to buy. It's not just for your counters. This is not just for the bathroom. That mini fan diffuser isn't just for your laptop. Mm -mm. So when you're giving uses and providing, you have to provide value to, to have your customer purchase. Provide value. So when you're doing your demos or your lives, ask yourself, what value did that demo provide? Am I just talking about a product or am I showing that product? Am I showing what it can do? Am I giving ways that people can use it? What value did I add other than just telling them that we have this product? That's a really good checks and balances for you. Cool? What else? Okay, three minutes. We have three minutes. Becker, how did your virtual party go? good for the first time um but i 
when I went live, like I can't go live on Safari on my Facebook. I have to go through Google. And so it has the chat here, but I saw four comments and that was it. So when I got done, then I saw I was like inundated with questions. And I was like, God bless it. I could have answered it all for everybody if somebody had a question, you know. So now this person is asking me, um, are, are oils safe for, are diffusers and oils safe for pets? And like, I don't know how to properly explain, like if you give them the free reign to move around your house, you know, lock them in the room with the scent, it's okay, but I gotta, I gotta make it nice. nice. Did, nice. and did you search the diffuser and oil FAQ? Yeah. So just type in the word FAQ. Okay, but I, I just looked at the oil FAQ and I'm not seeing it right now, but- For um, pets? Yeah. Okay, let and, me- yeah, I'll, I mean, I'm, but I'm answering all these other questions and it, it was good. And, and a lot of them were like, oh my gosh, I didn't know you could put a cotton ball inside the dish to warm it. I'm putting it in the freezer. I'm using a knife. I'm like, but I didn't see these until after. So I would have been like, yeah, you don't do that. You use the cotton. Yes. Your display looks outstanding. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm very proud of you. Thanks. Yeah. Come on, orders. <laughs> right. Come on, orders. Come on, parties. Please share the FAQ for oils and pets. Okay, we will. I will look for that and then post it on Together We Sent, and we can share it out from there. I could do demos and and live practice with you guys all day long. I will stop beating a dead horse about it. We won't have another Zoom about it. You don't have to fear that I'll call on you, but. Practice. Practice and get good at it and don't care. Who cares? You're going to goof. We all goof. We all feel like we're a goof. We all don't think we look silly on camera. We don't want to hear our voices. We're going to mess up. We're going to not see the comments. You know what? It doesn't matter. You're there to provide value and information. Julie, you raised your hand. So just really quick, just something else to consider. So I went live for the first time last week. I was scared to death and I totally goofed. I mean, I was like, what was I talking about? <laughs> and you know what? It's about a minute and a half and the video just kind of goes down in the group and nobody cared. Nobody knew any different and you just go with it. But my husband just kept telling me, you're your worst critic. And it's true. We are harder on are. ourselves than anybody else's. So 100%. just try it. I don't know. Like I said, I've only done it once, but I was pretty happy that I at least did one. <laughs> Great so. job, Jules. Great job. And that's just it. Thank you. Once you start doing it and then you realize how effective they are, you're going to keep doing it and you're going to get better. And every single time you do a demo, you're going to forget to tell them one of the main selling points on the product. And you're going to forget to tell them the biggest light bulb aha moment. And you're going to forget, forget, and it doesn't make a difference. It does not matter. It doesn't matter. You could go live and talk about why you love the scents that you love. You could go live and show a demo on using the counter clean on shoes. You could go live and show how you change your wax. You can do, there are so much that you can do and you can do it on your own terms. Okay. I appreciate there is, but uh -huh, this is much less embarrassing for sure. What is being on here? No, you got to read Rachel's comment above Robin's. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I sold intimate toys for my last company. If I can go live with something and have my mom jump on and encourage me, anyone can. That's the best way to end our Zoom tonight. I appreciate you and all of you. Okay, let's finish out the month strong because the next time we talk, it'll be September 1st. And I want to make sure everybody is smiling and celebrating on September 1st and not having a panic attack and have no hair. Okay? Awesome. Have a wonderful night. Go demo and go live. Bye, everybody.